Hey y'all, it's Cassidy. Welcome back to my channel if you're OG. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I talk about content creation, filmmaking, as well as branding. So make sure to tag along. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Let me let me show you how to do this. Give me a beat. Give me a beat. Fine. hello hello to my youtube family hope you're excited to come see me i got a great video for you today just subscribe and like this and you're ready to play no need to get your friends you won't be out it alone because today i'm gonna teach you the clown all right that was nice i'll admit it it was nice let's get let's it, get it. Anyways, you guys, so today I'm going to show you how I clone myself. If you didn't know, I'm the queen of cloning. The cloning queen. When you ain't got no friends, you just ain't got no option. No. <laughs> Alright, so let me go ahead and start the screen recording so y'all can see what I'm doing, what I do, when I do, what I do. Um, I'm going to be cloning on Final Cut Pro X. So you can use any software that has masking. I just prefer Final Cut. So I'm going to be editing a scene from my brother's new music video bag. If you haven't checked it out, make sure to check it out. I'll link it below. Um, but I produced it. We did it on his birthday. It was a lot of fun. Really quick shoot. So I'm not going to open Safari. I'm going to open Final Cut Pro. Get it, get it, let's go. And I'm going to recreate one of the scenes that I did. So let's create a new event. Clone 101, cloning for beginners. So I actually just randomly taught myself how to clone. I was like, I wonder how you clone. <laughs> I watched a video on YouTube and that's that's how I learned. So here I am creating a video for YouTube, full circle up in here, because now I clone professionally. All right, I think I'm gonna use the scene of us in the car. That was a pretty fun one. Um, and I was actually, fun fact, I was actually in the car the whole time, but since we were cloning, you couldn't tell. But I was in the seat, I was sweating, because when he got in the driver's seat, I didn't want the car to be on, because I was nervous that he would actually press something, and he didn't know how to drive yet, so, um, so I turned off the car and we were burning up, because we're in Texas, so it was like 100 degrees, we're in a black leather car, he's in all black, it's crazy. Alright, so... This is a beginner tutorial, so I want you guys to like really grasp it. So, very important when you guys are cloning, you need to set up the camera on a tripod and the camera cannot move. So, for example, if I'm sitting here and I clone myself over there, then the camera cannot move. So make sure your camera is steady and you take a steady shot in both locations. So A, I take a shot sitting here, cool, stop it, B, I take a shot sitting here. Now I'm actually using my microphone as a barrier to know this clone on this side cannot pass the microphone, the clone over there cannot pass the microphone from this side or else we're going to start to cross paths. There is ways, ways to be able to cross paths, I will show that in the more advanced clone tutorial, but for now we're just going to focus on clones that don't cross paths. Um, so for this shot right here I actually, I don't know if you guys can tell but I actually did accidentally bumped the camera so it's kind of two different angles of the car um but i was able to sort of get it to get it well, i was able to get it to sort of work without people noticing <laughs> that it was two different angles so i'm gonna go ahead and just put the two clips so this is clip number one i'm gonna put it in my timeline and we'll get it from when he gets in the car so i'll cut it so i just use my b tool to cut it in the blade and then he gets in the car, blah, 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 we're dancing around, cool. I'm gonna stop it there. 
so pressing B for my blade, A to go back to select, and then I'm just gonna delete that last section and zoom in so I can see a little bit better. All right, now I'm gonna take when he gets in the passenger seat. So you see me signal him, he comes in, we redo the signal. And then same thing, so I'm just gonna put that clip on top of this clip so now we're kind of layering clips and I'm gonna click and drag this clip just to end at the same time so we now have these two clips on top of each other beautiful alright so now I'm going to go into my little effects panel right down here those two little rectangles and I'm going to look for draw mask so draw mask is gonna allow you to now cut out um, certain aspects so I'm going to lay that mask on this top clip here and I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I should now see a pen tool and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out homie right here cuz he's who I want and I don't want me and bam as soon as I finish cutting him out we get the shot that's underneath is going to appear so you may notice right now it literally looks like a cutout so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click back on this clip that I just cut and I'm going to go to my inspector window here is that what it's called I don't think that's inspector I don't know whatever I'm gonna go to that window and I'm going to feather it out all the way and that just kind of helps soften that line there so like I said, since the camera was moved, it is a little off, but once I added color correction and everything, um, it made the colors look really clear. Alright, that's how you clone yourself. It's actually very simple, very quick, very easy. Um, like I said, I will make a more advanced tutorial if you're ever crossing over your clone or doing anything a bit more complicated, but that's just the simplistic way to do it. So make sure your camera doesn't move, make sure your clones don't cross paths, draw your mask, and you're good to go.